Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, I'm gonna expand on my recent videos about max survivability within endgame content. Specifically, this video is gonna be something that'll allow you to get your well if you're a warlock almost continuously and basically allow you to survive in any endgame content, whether that be Grandmaster Nightfalls or Master Presage or other activities that you're trying to complete by yourself or with a fire team. And as you listen to this video, if it's something that provides value to you, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make quality content for you part-time guardians. So again, this is a elemental well-based warlock build. And so this build is gonna be based on Well of Radiance, Phoenix Protocol, Charge of Light, Elemental Well, and Seasonal Mods. Now, I know for many of you, especially people who do Warlocks for the most part, you're like, well, I know about Phoenix Protocol and Well of Radiance. And you're right, that is a very powerful combo, but there are ways that you can enhance it with some of the mods I'm gonna talk about in this build. First off, this build is gonna be fairly neutral for the type of armor and weapons that you utilize. You probably already have your favorite weapons. You probably already have your favorite armor that you have kind of tweaked out with high stats and things like that. So I don't want to go into specifics on that. Again, there will be requirements around specific seasons. If you need specific mods, there will be requirements for that. But outside of that, you can pretty much use anything. This build is about max survival and getting rifts and wells as frequently as possible. So how do I start with that? So let's talk about some of the mods. First off, I'm going to use Energy Converter. Energy Converter charges with light on your character are consumed when using a grenade and grants you super energy to 50%. Now what that means is, depending on how many charges of light you have, you can get a ton of your super energy back, but it caps 50%. So one thing, you want to use this if possible at the beginning after you finish, uh, either at the beginning of the encounter, before you have a super, or right after you finish your super. That's how you get the best benefit out of it. In addition to that, I run two supercharge mods, which allows you to get charges light up to 5x. You can obviously run taking charge and pick up orbs to get the five. That is one way, and that's my other builds have talked about that. But in endgame content, sometimes there are tankier opponents that allow orb generation to slow down. So instead of that, I'll be using a different method for getting charges of light. So what I'll be utilizing is elemental charge to gain charges when I pick up elemental wells. These look like small light puddles on the ground and are colored based on the burn that generates them. If you pick up a well that matches your super burn, you can get 2x charges. You can only use this on armor from season 13 and forward, so keep that in mind. To get these charges, I utilize an elemental ordinance that generates elemental wells when you kill enemies with grenades. So not only can grenades in this build generate your elemental wells, but once you gain enough stacks of charges of light, they can also speak up, speed up your super recovery. In addition, with all elemental mods, an indirect perk is that picking up an orb of your burn type gives you energy to all of your abilities that feed on this build. Utilizing my Well of Radiance subclass, I can also speed up grenade generation. When I heal or empower allies, I get grenade, melee, and rift energy back. In addition, when I strike an enemy with my melee ability, I can inflict burn damage and empower myself and allies, which again, can allow you to gain your grenade and rift energy back quicker. Since my build is designed to allow you to stay alive when surrounded by enemies, I also use the Season Mod Inferno Whip which allows solar melee abilities to stun unshielded enemies and specifically unstoppable champions. This will allow me to easily cover all three of champions with only needing anti-barrier and overload on my gauntlets. Now again, you don't need to do that. You can kind of swap things out. But one of the things I do, because I, I frequently forget, I like using this because then I don't have to think about it. All I need to make sure is that I have an anti-barrier weapon that matches whatever I have on my gauntlets and the same thing of overload and this will give me the unstoppable if I need it. To round out this build, I utilize ammo finders and scavengers on my heavy weapons to gain those back as quickly as possible. I also use bomber to allow me to get my grenades back as quickly as possible. I use concussive dampener to reduce area of effect damage and then round this build out with a balance of ability mods. Again, depending on how high my st stats are on my particular piece of armor. So again, you might need resilience, you might need other things. So I then at that point kind of tweak it based on what my armor looks like. Obviously then I utilize this grenade portion of the build to get my super up to 50% as quickly as possible. And then with the build, I continue to generate grenades to get charges back. Once I have my super and use it, I try to get those charges up again so I can get my 50% quickly with the grenade and then utilize Phoenix Protocol to get as close to 100% as quickly as possible. With Phoenix Protocol kills and assist in a well, generate super energy back to you. With this, I can get anywhere from 75% to 100% of my super energy back by the time my well runs out. Now, obviously, you can even tweak this a little bit further. If you really want to go endgame on this, you can even tweak and have your other fire team members 
run similar builds and actually generate similar elemental wells. So you get your charges back quicker. So again, there's all sorts of things you can do to tweak this, but this is a good base build that will allow you for the most part to get your well back fairly quickly after you've done it, which will allow you again to live as, as long as possible. This is also not taking into account what your fire team looks like. So if obviously if you're generating masterwork orbs where you can pick those up that allow you to get your super quicker, if, you're, if your friends are doing that, if they're doing supers where they're dropping orbs, then this is actually self-fulfilling prophecy where you can continuously do this across your fire team. In fact, if you really want to be fun, run three warlocks with this build. It'll be interesting. You'll probably have staffs of Well of Radiance just sitting all over the map. And again, that's the video, guys. Um, this is a fairly easy to put together build for any average player. It'll allow you to really complete in-game content in a lot easier ways. And again, I hope it was valuable to you. If it was, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the tower.